look what's underneath this lid. And this is what your loved ones are going to love on Easter and any time of the year. Take a look. Boneless leg of lamb roasted with potatoes. Hello everybody, this is Alessandra. Today we, we're going to be making a delicious simple recipe with a leg of lamb. It's boneless, you could use it with bone in also, but I found it boneless at the market. Simple ingredients, but such powerful and delicious flavor. Okay, the ingredients are, I have three pound, leg of lamb could be anywhere between three and four pounds, garlic, parsley and mint, I'm using baby yellow potatoes. You could use any kind of potato if it's a night or just cut it up. But I like these uh, patate novelle, the new potatoes. They're delicious. Lemon, white wine, uh, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm just going to show you what the preparation is and we'll get it in the oven. A little trick for the slip sliding cutting board. You see this is not moving. Take a look at that. You see those cabinet pads that you put uh, or those underneath rugs it makes I just cut a small piece pull my cutting board on and look it's now moving voila it's magic okay so the lamb is right here first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a knife and make a cross stab it right through like this make a cross like that okay and just slice your garlic in small slivers like this and then you're going to add a little bit of the mint and the parsley all together like that. And you're going to stick it right into that hole you just made. Help yourself with the knife if you need to, to just get it in. Or maybe the back of a fork, you could also do that. There it goes, the piece of garlic. Now, it's really happy up to you how many uh, how much of the garlic and the parsley i'm going to do about it's not a very large leg i'm going to make about seven eight holes okay now let's tie it up so it doesn't fall apart because remember the bone was removed so if you leave it like this it's going to open up so i got a string over i'm gonna do this tie a knot across now just come around and with your thread just tie it up over here and run it from the top like this and you make it make a nice knot okay again right here run it underneath it help yourself with the one you ran across underneath and just make a knot okay tutto bello legato all tied up let's put it in a cooking tray. Make sure you have enough space for the potatoes. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Gar the remaining garlic, what you're going to do is just slice them. Okay, then I want to show you what I do with this. I'm going to cream it. So then I'll rub it on the outside and um, it just melts when it cooks. So you have the flavor, but not the chunks of garlic in your mouth. So just add some uh, salt. Okay, and then with a fork, with the tip of a fork, just do this. Once you're done creaming the garlic, just add it to a little bowl. Chop a small bunch of the mint and the parsley. Okay, now once that's all chopped, add it to the little bowl. I'm going to juice the lemon. The reason why I have my palm underneath it, so like that, it collects the, the lemon seeds. Extra virgin olive oil in. Be generous, because it's got to flavor the potatoes too. And give it a good whip. Done with the whipping, you see how nice and thick it is? It's gonna stick beautifully to the meat. Okay, now move it on the side. Let's get the meat here, like fresh cracked salt all over the uh, lamb. Also fresh cracked pepper. Turn it. Okay, 
massage it, okay? Make sure it's all nice and uh, dispersed everywhere, okay? So now, take this and just gently pour it over. Now make sure it also goes a little bit in those holes you've created because that's all flavor. So just add it all on top. Get your hands dirty, okay? Massage it in like this. You want to get that all that flavor all over. It already smells divine. Ora lo ubriachiamo un poco. We're gonna let it get drunk. I have a white wine, okay? A little bit on top, slowly on top, because you don't want it to wash off what you just added. So there it goes. Be generous with the white wine because it's going to cook quite a bit in the oven. Now, I'm not adding the potatoes. We're going to add, add the potatoes halfway through. Aluminum foil on. Echo qua. In the oven, 325, and we'll check back later. Roast out of the oven. It's nowhere near done. But it's halfway through, so we're going to take the potatoes either quarter them or just half depending on the size and we're just going to add it at the bottom of the pan once i add the potatoes i'm going to make sure that they're um I, you know turn it with a spoon so like that they get all the juice all the drippings from the bottom back in the oven with no aluminum foil on and i'm going to put the oven on 350. Now let's get it back in the oven. The juices are going to thicken up, dry up. The roast is going to finish cooking and the, ab and the magic is going to happen. Just out of the oven, you need to let it sit a little bit. Before I taste this, please subscribe. Hit the bell button, eat the, hit the like button, share my recipes. More importantly, make the recipes to all peace and love. Grazie, arrivederci alla prossima, but don't go away because I want to taste it, I want to show you. Take a look. Ecco qui. Okay, come closer. It's so tender, it pulls right apart. Look at this, and that's exactly what you want. Un poco di patata, a little bit of the potato too. And off I go. Let me... Non posso parlare, I cannot talk, I want to enjoy this. Arrivederci.